Welcome to my airbrush comparison video. These are the KK Moon 180 model and Hobbyworks BR180. To begin with, we'll start with their prices. KK Moon 180 is at 1050 pesos. If you buy this as set, it has air hose, moisture trap, pair needles, 3mm and a 0.5mm needle, and also a nozzle cap for 0.5mm nozzle replacement. Or you can buy the other offer which is only around 750 pesos with a paint dropper and a mini wrench with it. Next is the Hobbyworks BR180. It is at 1700 pesos with only the mini wrench and Hobbyworks stickers with it. For the specs and appearance, both have the same 0.2mm needle and nozzle, air adjustment valve though they look really similar but you can't interchange their other parts the needle cap nozzle cap and the trigger hobbyworks has also a better finish and more polished now let's see how these two airbrushes will also differ in their performance all right let's begin this and for this test i will use the 0.2 millimeter needle and nozzle for both of them First, we'll compare how wide they're spray, and for this test to be accurate, I'm gonna use the same distance for both of them, so 120 centimeter. Okay. Next is the BR 180, Hobbyworks BR 180. So again, 120. And now for the fine lines, which in my opinion is the most important of all the tests. And now for the BR-180, Hobby Works. Now let's compare this to a ball pen. If you're buying one of these airbrushes and considering the fact that 180 models are designed for detailed airbrushing, then the clear winner here is the Hobbyworks BR180 because of its high precision result. The KK Moon is versatile. It can cover a wider area but didn't do better on fine line test. We can see it has some disruptions and noises on the sprays. But if you are not going to compare this to the Hobbyworks BR180 as a detailing airbrush, this can get the job done just fine. Honestly, for Hobbyworks BR180, it really did the fine lines perfectly. This is the exact result that you would want for a detailing airbrush. BR180 proves that it can do 100% really clean lines. 100% means this is the limit 
and the quality that any high precision airbrush could possibly do. You can test your airbrush and prove that I'm mistaken. Let's be frank. In my honest opinion, this airbrush can really compete with other expensive branded airbrushes based on the result of the test. Of course, some of us are brand conscious and this is only a generic airbrush. And to remind you, this is only a 1,700 peso airbrush or 34 US dollars. You can test your airbrush and ask this to yourself. Is your more expensive branded airbrush capable of achieving the same precision? Or is it really far better? Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Salute.